Hey, 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 everybody, it's Jade. Well, it happened. And then it happened again. That is Mike Zimmer got shown the door. He is out as Minnesota Vikings head coach as of today, Monday, this morning. And who else was shown the door as well? Public enemy number one, that is Rick Spielman. So the Wilfs, they weren't just letting go of Zimmer. No, they were not. They said sayonara, Rick, see you later. Ding dong, Rick is gone. I'm actually slightly surprised by that because I'm sure all of you knew, know too or you heard the rumors, the rumblings going on that it was going to be Zimmer getting, getting the axe and um, that Spielman was going to be you know, kept with the organization, but not GM. So I'm so glad for the Vikings that the Wills decided to get rid of Spielman as well to do just a clean cut. Now, the next one, the next one that needs to follow is the third stooge. There's one left behind here. There's one left behind. I'm not sure if it's Curly, Mo, or Larry. Eh, we, that's for everybody to decide, but Pizza Boy needs to be next, all right? AKA Kirk Cousins, he also needs to be shown the door too. Now, two down, one to go. Um, and two, it's interesting um, that Kirk Cousins actually, I haven't heard it, the whole thing, but he basically talked about or briefly mentioned how, you know, he wants to be a Viking for life. Uh, no thanks, please no, please no. And um, in regards to that, talked about possible restructure of the contract, which we have not heard any sort of rumblings about Pizza Boy wanting to do that at all. So, is Kirk Cousins worried now? Is he worried? Is, is he worried about his pocketbook since Daddy Warbucks? Rick Spielman is gone? Probably. Now, of course, depending on who the new coach is, who the new general manager of the Vikings um, are, is, whatever, um, they're probably going to decide on Pizza Ranch Boy. However, um, um, I mean, oh man, part of me is just like, was just this just the beginning? Was this just the beginning with um, Zimmer and uh, Spielman being shown the door? Because clearly, like, man, the wheels are spinning now, people. Sorry, I was just like, I had, it was like a light bulb moment a little bit. So the Wilfs getting rid of Spielman and Mark Wilf did a little presser this afternoon. I wasn't able to watch it. I did listen to some of it. Um, basically, Mark Wilf said, okay, we want leaders. We want to win a championship. And um, so he also mentioned that he wants to make the fans happy. The fans are very, very important. So they're listening to us, people. They're listening to us, finally. Mark, Ziggy, you watching this? Let, let me come in, all right? You can, make, you can make a job for me. Let me help you. I want to help you. Let me, just give me some sort of job. Make me the new general manager of this team. <laughs> That's maybe a little far-fetched, maybe. But um, so with them wanting to listen to the fans, you know, possibly that could mean that Kirk Cousins goes too. That maybe they already have some sort of plan for him. Maybe they're already, you know, brewing something up. Probably not. I think they're going to wait. I think probably the more realistic thing is they're going to wait. Whoever whoever they decide, you know, to be general manager and then general manager chooses the head coach, I presume, um, they're going to let them make that decision because that's what they get paid for as well. That's probably what, like, the Wills think. This is just my own opinion, of course, but I am just, I'm, Parting is such sweet sorrow with Zimmer. It really is. Like, I am not going to look back on Mike Zimmer's time as head coach for the Vikings as negative at all. I'm certainly not going to. No. Like, onwards and, <clears throat> excuse me, onwards and upwards to Mike Zimmer. He's probably going to land a job somewhere. And, um, too, there were some comments that came out from, I think it was like Brian O'Neill and Eric Kendricks made some interesting comments about how, you know, having like a personal relationship um, with players is important. So I'm not exactly sure, too, if that was some sort of um, zinger at Zim, zinger at Zimmer, and, you know, kind of the Zim thing when they were kind of mentioning, this is on the radio, 
when he's walking down the hall hallway, he doesn't say, oh, hi, hi, hello, Justin Jefferson, you know, or whatever. Hi, hi, Eric, how you doing today? No, it's none of that. And I think he probably would say hello to Eric Kendricks, but it sounds like, you know, Zim, how he was with the new people, you know, the younger players, it was a little, it wasn't, it wasn't very welcoming and warming. And, and, and uh, they were basically getting to the point where a hello goes a long way, you know, having, knowing the people on a little bit of a, some sort of personal level, uh, knowing the players that you have, I should say. So that was interesting too, that that came out. So possibly a lot of the players were, you know, fed up too, possibly with Zim at this point in time as well. So the Wolves listening there as well. And with that little side tangent, I totally forgot what I was talking about, but I'm excited for the changes here. And um, I think there's, there could be more to come. There could be more to come. And I also could think to myself too that this is okay. The Wilfs are like, all right, people, you wanted us to make a big move. Here we get, here we go. We did it. We got rid of Zimmer and we got rid of Spielman. Oh, I was saying like Zimmer parting is such sweet sorrow. We're going to miss you. Bittersweet. Going to look back on it as a good thing. Um, so with Spielman being gone as well, I think they doubled down. The Wilfs are like, all right. You guys, y'all knew that we were getting rid of Zimmer, but you didn't expect Spielman. So they could just be like, there we go. There was the big move. So now the replacements, they can, they can come, you know, sort through the trash here and decide what to throw and what to keep. And, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna, I think we're in for some more news here. At least hopefully. I mean, obviously we are because the Vikings, they, they need a new head coach and a new general manager. I don't know why the Wilfs have not gotten on the phone with Kelly Klein, um, out of Denver. I think she would be an amazing general manager. She used to work for the Vikings organization for 10 years. She was the top NFL woman scout in the NFL. Uh, and I think that would be a progressive move from the Wolf. She obviously knows the organization. Um, but are they listening to me? If that name gets thrown out, then we will really know that they're listening to the channel. They're listening to us, people. Um, but because I haven't heard anyone throw that name out there. And um, as far as head coach goes, I mean, that could be anybody. That could be anybody. There is so many names going around. Uh, I think Eric Bieniemy. I just saw right before I started filming this. He's been kind of a popular name for the Purple. I believe he has, or Den the Denver Broncos have requested an interview with Eric Bieniemy. Now, I also heard rumblings today too that allegedly the Broncos want to hire Mike Zimmer so all right yeah over in uh, Denver so with um Zimmer no longer as head coach we're not really surprised Spielman no longer as general manager there we go and um too when Mark was talking in the presser I think it was a zoom meeting a zoom call um you know as with the times now zoom zoom meetings um you know, Mark was basically saying like it was it was a hard decision for him to make with um, in regards to Rick and with Mike, you know, and it seems like the parting probably or the firing, you know, the, the guillotine, it probably went as pleasant hopefully, as it could have, at least, um, I'm hoping so for Zim, and I guess for Spielman, too, you don't want to necessarily, like, burn those bridges, it's all about the karma, right, and, uh, but I am proud of the Wilfs for making a big move here, not just getting rid of Zimmer and, um, their package deal, Zimmer and, uh, Spielman, they, they did end up being a package deal, now, Rick Spielman, puppet master, he should have taken his little puppet, Kirk Cousins with them, but, you know, that's those those fish are to fry later. All right. I guess we're eating these fish. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, people, what do you think? You already have let me know a little bit. I saw the news uh, early this morning, um, early, early, and then didn't get a chance to touch on it until now. But the changes, they're happening. They are happening, at least uh, for now. So we'll see where the team goes. Um, I'm excited. And um, yeah, it might be it might be an absolute trash heap for the next year or two. And um, it might not be. They might be able to get somebody in here and wave their magic wand and see the Viking ship set sail to a Super Bowl 2022. Because apparently that's what my, Mark thinks, is that they, he thinks that they can be contenders in 2022. Now, when I think about that, I'm like, oh, they're going to keep Kirk. He's going to be back. Damn it! But we'll see. We'll see. And um, yeah, so exciting people. Um, I'm looking forward to the changes here. I'm going to wrap it up. Almost 10 minutes of me just kind of blathering away here. Uh, but excited for the changes. And um, 
yeah, I hope that I think these are good moves. I think they were good moves for the team because obviously we know it wasn't working. And um, so hopefully the Wolves can carry on a wayward son here. And um, yeah, now too, I was I was wondering if they were just going to let Zimmer go. And I said if they just let, a, let Zimmer go and didn't do anything else that I was going to have to start questioning ownership. But I will not start questioning yet because, again... Uh, I think it's a good move. It sucks, especially for Zim, because I liked him the most. Um, but for overall, for the team, it's been stale. It's been dull. So we need to sprinkle a little salt on here. We need to sprinkle a little seasoning here, all right, on the Vikings, on the school. Sprinkle some salt on the schoolers. All right, people, so we're scrolling on, even though the Vikings season, I, it's over, but it doesn't, there's never an off season, isn't there? Because there's always stuff going on. There's always always news, always drama. So now we have to wait and see who the next uh, head coach and general manager is going to be. I wonder who it'll be first. Probably, I, like I mentioned, now I'm just blathering again, people. I'm going to go um, general manager first, most likely. Right. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what goes on too with Kirk Cousins, see what they're, they're going to want to do with him. That being the head coach and the general manager. And maybe the Wolves too, because, oh my gosh, one other thing too, and then I, I swear I'm doing a Minnesota goodbye, but I'm going to go. Um, I think this came from, this came from Twitter. It was either from Courtney Cronin or Chris Tomlinson. I don't remember, but both of them. Uh, Chris Thomason, I think, covers the team for Pioneer Press. Courtney Cronin covers the team for ESPN. Anyway, they're both both awesome. And um, two. So one of them asked Mark if he, if they if he thought that signing Kirk for all that money and th that big of a cap hit was going to um, kind of penalize or have a negative impact on the Vikings wanting to move forward. I kind of butchered that, a little bit of a word salad, like I do. But um, Mark didn't want to talk about that. So uh, I think it was Courtney Cronin that tweeted it. I should have wrote it down. Damn it! All right, I'm going to get on it one day, people. But uh, I think that's an interesting little, uh, little nugget as well, that he didn't necessarily want to answer that. So it wasn't a yes, and it wasn't a no. So that leads, and they fired Spielman, and Spielman was the one that did it. So perhaps Pizza Boy has also had his final delivery, but they would owe him a lot of money. So anyway, all right, people, what a wild Monday. And um, yeah, let me know if you're shocked, if you're surprised, if you're happy, if you're bummed out. Let me know, people. You always do. So I hope you have, have had a wonderful Monday and a great start to your week here and I hope everybody is taking care and doing all that stuff and we got other teams to watch this upcoming weekend I think it's Saturday Sunday and Monday this upcoming week for playoff stuff so that's wild and uh hopefully it'll be fun and with that being said everybody you take care and I will check you on the flip side P.S. Mar hi to you and Kitty how are you are you doing well what do you think? Mike Zimmer, Rick Spielman, they're out. They're done. All right, the three stooges. <laughs> Only one of the stooges is left over, that being Kirk Cousins. All right, hi to you and Kitty. Miss you both. All right, everybody, you take care, and I will check you later. Bye.